abate di ishi ka, ka opioro mango. Abate no na arise news na konhe duri ono. How come suddenly unile all of you e develop, e develop ole interest na he basara south east. Una love Hollandi bo well well. Una love Hollandi bo well well. South east di zono okempa. Unile ano de na studio de na atancha he di le duro no ono. Eh? Iso na IPOB. In I say, my 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 powerful or a a a a a a a a press statement. Then when investment, a a who go out by Ashanya, only lad like here, basra here basra south east. But in Bali, we shouldn't them matter there. We all know we we are in a studio now. All doing very very hard. And then 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 when we as you open up, we see a car. I bet they do she can handle a man. My phone can only handle a real one. You know, ne ma de ma. On a notre la station, on a dit, on a connu du rou non. On a sur le beke, on a sur le sur le beke, on a 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 on a gave me insist on that one. Can now the canal pota? You know the cool in him again at South East. I want to hear him. 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 Eh? I want to hear him. 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 Or like this case, you need a word. You can hear it. You can see na na protest her name. Na protest her name. Ah ah ah. No one no day valid. But now I can see the. Let in a marry on we guy a guy. Only let no day no na attention because on a no na no south east or no Simon Epa. Okuba he recognizes he le he ma powerful. Okuba ono masoni he ma powerful oh. Before na mo nyo oh. Ono hwe zi oku nene buchi ya ka. Kwe yon yon ju yon nene defend. Do ni le nan ada studio. Oge rutu nou no tu nou tu. Oge rutu nou nou fu nou fu. Ono mwana yon nou nene me. Because ubu a wo before. Ono hapon nan de kano. Ono woro ono. Ono wone studio. Ono wo. Journalist. Ono kwe oku maka ya. E garo nga na logo. Ibo so ogo. Ki jwa yon mene. Yon yon mene jibido di ogo. Ble mo nya. A wige ji den nan de kane. Gi si. Ndo lo tagra logo. Ay kule oku. Ono ni le wonda ra la. Ono wo kenye non ulo. E wuna aman ogu. Ono be careful. Before. Nigeria hapo na oto na life. Nigeria eme ono. Nigeria ge ezu ku ono. Ono de careful. Na studia ha ono no. Ono na po Simon. Simon ono. One small man. Non a Finland. One small man. Oga anyo nene neze. Oga anyo nene neze. Ofu no ofu. Simon one epa wo. One small man no no. Na, na, na Finland. One small man called Simon one epa. Can't hold people on ransom. Fe hon no no. Abate di shi ka hen na ma. Abate. Nge wa nge wa. Be careful. Thank you very much for highlighting the story. Because I think that it's time for yeah. the people in the South East to rise up. Yes. One man in Finland as Senator Oba has described cannot hold hold the people to ransom in terms of their economic livelihood. Every Monday, and for many people who are from, who are from that region, yes. complain about it. You hardly find someone who is in that region who likes the sit-at-home order because people are losing money. People are losing money, their livelihoods are affected, and one man sits, as Senator Oba describes, in front of his um, you know, nice equipment and he's giving orders that, does, that do not affect him. The orders don't affect him because he's cushioned in Finland, enjoying a system that works in a secure, um, in a secure environment. In Anambra State, when he asked for the one week sit at home, they defy the order. The governors have woken up, the newly elected governors, yes. and said, we can't have, we can't continue to have one man hold the people to ransom 
in the southeast. And I'm glad that not only did the Anambra residents refuse to sit at home, people like Senator Uba are now being vocal about this. This is what should have happened a while ago. Absolutely. They ought to have been vocal about it. They ought to have stood up against what is oppression and asked the people to go about their um, daily life. You can protest. But you cannot cut off your nose to spite your face. You cannot stop the people from earning and making a, a, a life for themselves because you're protesting. It is actually, it's double jeopardy. So you're affecting the people whom you claim to represent by standing up for, um, for, for a cause. Absolutely. Absolutely deplorable. I'm glad they're speaking up. And I think further, and this is a question we keep asking the, um, you know, when we have conversations around the security chiefs, something has to be done. We can't have people afraid or their um, shops bungled, or they are threatened, or even killed, because they decide to defy the order. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to stand with a particular campaign or um, a, a, a particular response or protest, then I should have that right to choose. Absolutely. Not giving people a choice in itself is criminal. Absolutely. Dr. Abati, one well, minute. Well, very briefly, because we're managing time. Absolutely. Number one, there is seriously a problem of insecurity in the southeast. Absolutely. That has been there, and that has continued. One of the uh, things that uh, this day newspaper in that uh, story, uh, looking at 30 days of uh, Tinubu, 30 challenges, 30 appointments, one of the things that that uh, report, which I commended here, you know, I indicated was insecurity in the Southeast yes. and other parts of the, of the country. Now, in the Southeast, IPOP says it's not involved in the uh, CITA too. Yes. And uh, IPOP too am a powerful as issued statements. Several statements. To, to this. So who are those people? Yesterday, as you said, you know, attacking people and threatening to kill. So the national security system has its job cut out for Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's number one. Number two, that Ebonyi tape, they kept saying there will be no peace. People mm. will be killed if Nam the canon mm. is not released. One of the things this day newspaper identified as challenges that the Timubu administration would uh, have to address is the issue of Nam de Kanu as part of peace building process in the Southeast. President Timubu has to personally take a look uh, you know, at that particular matter. And then number three, of course, is the point about uh, Ifanyi Uba, Senator, uh, representing Inewi North uh, from uh, Anambra South, yes. you know, challenging Simon Ekba. There is another video that showed him and other people patrolling yes. the streets of Anambra State bikes, yeah. yesterday. Mm. Well, the urgency of this matter is now, so that we don't have a blowout in the southeast. Where there is peace in the southeast, there will be development. Absolutely. Governor of Anambra State, Governor Soludo, has been saying people should come home and invest. People should come home and invest and stop investing outside their own uh, territory. How will people come home? if there's so much insecurity. insecurity. Well, sir, Imagine the cost it. of people sitting at home on Mondays. Nobody has calculated it. It's a lot, both at the personal level and also at the economic level. Well said, Dr. Abati. I... Let peace reign in the southeast. Let's say no to this Monday sit at home. Absolutely. It's destroying the people they claim they are fighting for. Absolutely. And please, Simon Ekba, watch it. You're causing a lot of chaos here, and you're living in the freedom of democracy in Finland. Have a conscience. Check your own conscience. Oh, Nobody is saying that the marginalization protest is not valid. But you are causing rancor because a nation like Finland has a system working. Absolutely. And you are destroying your own homeland. Right. Have a conscience, well, Simon Ekba. Have a conscience. Well said, Rufai.